the government is committed to transforming agriculture from subsistence to a commercially competitive industry. This will be done through tailored projects under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Deputy Rigadi Gashagwa says the government has launched various initiatives that will increase investments in rice, cotton, coffee, beef, leather and dairy in a bid to raise the country's food security. Speaking when he opened the 2023 Mombasa International Show, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa says the next phase of fertilizer distribution will benefit more farmers, which will in turn lead to higher production in the farms. The government is appealing to farmers to make use of subsidized fertilizer to increase agricultural production and productivity. The government targets timely distribution of fertilizer for short trains, approximately 100,000 metric tons, which will be distributed to farmers. The deputy president says the government is committed to transforming agriculture from subsistence to commercial through tailored projects under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. The government has prioritized key value chains through the bottom-up economic transformation agenda and we believe will be most effective in realizing food security, reducing food imports and increasing exports. Under the Agricultural Transformation Initiative, Kenya will increase the production of edible oil from the current 80,000 metric tons to 240,000 metric tons. This will be achieved by investing in cultivation of oil crops that include palm oil, sunflower, canola and soya beans. Already, procurement of sunflower and soya bean seed is ongoing, targeting distribution during the October to November 2023 short range. In addition, the government will provide 20,000 coconut certified seedlings to be distributed to the coastal, coastal towns of Kilifi, Kwale, Lamu, Tana River, Taita Taveta, and of course Mombasa. Gashagwa says going forward, the continent will speak in one voice on matters of climate change and climate financing.